can't remember when there'd been so much fog in the harbor. It was like a giant cloud that came down from the sky. George had been away on a long ocean job, and he was telling the tugs all about it. Oh, yes, I was up in the Arctic. George boomed in his biggest voice. That's way up at the top of the whole world. Now, the other tugs always loved to hear stories about what it was like way out on the open ocean. They always seemed so exciting. The water in the Arctic had icebergs that were even bigger than I am, continued George, obviously enjoying his own story. In fact, the only thing more exciting than telling stories about the ocean was going on the ocean. All the tugs thought it was the very best thing that any tug could do. Just then, the dispatcher turned to the tugs to begin the morning work meeting. A big cargo ship is arriving. Theodore and Hank, I would like you to bring her in. Now, continued the dispatcher, I'm sending one tug across the ocean to France to pick up a new barge for the harbor. Fodok smiled inside and out. It was his turn for an ocean job. Going all the way to France would be great. He was sure to have wonderful stories to tell after that. Emily, said the dispatcher, please leave for the ocean as soon as you are ready. That is all. Fodok was startled. Emily, it was supposed to be his turn for an ocean job. Why had the dispatcher chosen Emily and not him? Just as Fodok was turning to go, the dispatcher called out in his most serious voice. Fodok, I would like to have a word with you. The dispatcher cleared his throat a little the way he did when he was making an important announcement. <clears throat> Bodak the Vigilant, he began. You are the only tugboat in the harbor with special safety equipment. Uh, yes, uh, I am, replied Fodak. Because you're special, continued the dispatcher, it has been decided that from now on, you will stay here in the harbor and be our official safety tug. You will begin your new job this morning. Yes, sir, said Fodak in his bravest voice, but inside he began to feel terrible. All he could think of was those awful words. Stay in the harbor. That meant he couldn't go out on the ocean again.